Hello kids, I'm Teacher Garner. How are you? Hope you are doing well. Today, we are going to learn about animal classifications. Are you ready to learn? Let's get started. Are you Before we start our lesson, we have some words to learn that we're going to use throughout our lesson. First, we have groups. Let's spell groups. G-R-O-U-P-S. Groups. Let's spell it again. G-R-O-U-P-S. Let's spell it one more time. G-R-O-U-P-S. Good job. Let's go to the next word. Special. Read it again. Special. Let's spell it. S-P-E-C-I-A-L. Special. Let's spell it again. S-P-E-C-I-A-L. One more time. S P E C I A L. Let's go to the next word. Backbones. Again, backbones. Spell it. B A C K B O N E S. Backbones. Spell it again. B A C K B O N E S. Backbones. Spell it one more time. B A C K B O N E S. Backbones. Now let's go to our topic. It's about animal classifications. What does it mean by animal classifications? Read with me. Animals can be separated into different groups or classifications to help in understanding what makes them special. Animals can be separated into two main groups, those which have backbones and those that do not. As you can see in the picture, that is a backbone. Like as humans, we have backbones and most of the animals as well. Of those that do, there are five main groups as follows. First, we have mammals. What are the characteristics of mammals? Let's see. They give birth to a live young. Yes, they can have babies as well. They have hair and fur. Mammal mothers nurse their young with milk and they are warm blooded. Okay, let's see some examples of mammals. There you are, elephant, kangaroo, cow, bat. Rat, mongoose, dolphin, rabbit, spring hare, and a baboon. Now let's, now let's go to the next one. Reptiles. What are the characteristics of reptiles? Let's see. They have scales, not fur. They have dry skin. They usually lay eggs sometimes live young and they are cold blooded. Let's see some examples. There you are. We have a turtle or a tortoise. We have alligator. We have a snake. We have a gecko or salamander. Yes, those are examples of reptiles. We have a lizard here. Okay, let's go to the next one. Fish. What are the characteristics of fish? 
They can breathe underwater using gills. Yes, that's right. They have scales and fins. Next, they lay eggs and they are cold blooded. Okay, let's see some examples here. There you are. Of course, we know already what are fish. Okay. Nemo is a fish, right? Okay, let's go to the next one. Amphibians. What are the characteristics of amphibians? Let's see. They live on land and in water. They lay eggs. They have moist skin and they have webbed feet. And they are cold blooded as well. Let's see some examples here. Oh, a frog, the toad, salamander, a Sicilian, and a newt. Oh, this newt is a scary one. <clears throat> Let's go to the next one. Birds. Okay, what are the characteristics of birds? Let's see. They have feathers, of course. They lay eggs, of course. And they are also warm-blooded. Let's see some examples here. Yes, a duck is considered a bird, a parrot, a vulture. We have a pigeon, a hen, crow, woodpecker, turkey, these are turkeys, a cock, hen, is it a flamingo? I think not. But these are all birds, okay? Now let's do some activities. Let's see what you have learned so far. What's this? It's a dog. What is the classification of a dog? Did you answer mammal? That's right. Good job. A dog is a mammal, okay? Next, what is the classification of a parrot or a cockatoo? Simple bird, that is correct. A parrot or a cockatoo is a bird, that is its classification. Next, ooh, what's this? It's a snake. What is its classification? Did you answer reptile? Good job, a snake is a reptile. Next, what's this? It's a frog. What is its classification? Did you answer amphibian? You got it right. Because a frog can live on land and in water. So a frog is an amphibian. Next. Wow, look at that. What is its classification? It's as easy as one, two, three. You answered fish? That's easy. Good job. Now, let's recap the animal classifications. There are five, right? Let's see it again. First, we have mammals. Second, reptiles. Third, fish. Fourth, amphibians. And the last one, birds. That's right. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed our lesson. Always remember, wash your hands every time. Stay home, be safe. See you soon.